Folks, I'm sorry. Uh, believe me, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that's the way it has to be. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please, uh, your attention. There's some good news to go with the bad news. Oh, yeah, like what? what? <laughs> well, we're, it looks like we're going to have to stay here until the roads are clear. That's yeah. Well, nobody could be like some big, huge slumber party. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So what is the bad news? That was the bad news. The good news is we have plenty of food and drink and candles. And yes. battery. Uh, yes. Our intrepid younger set has supplied us with music. So when we tire of dancing, there's plenty of fine champagne. Oh, Adam, you do know how to rough it. <laughs> Phoebe, from you, that's a compliment. Thank you. I am going to ask the food service staff to supply whatever they can to serve as blankets, pillows. Um, we'll make you as comfortable as we can. Mm. Right. If we decide to crash on the floor. Yeah. Oh, good yeah. food, good company. We could ask for more, right, sweetheart? Whoa. What are we <laughs> <That's doing? laughs> <laughs> for? Yeah, now there you go. There's the spirit. <laughs> hey, I go for a good party, too, but I got to be in court in the morning. We've got to get back to the hospitals. We always get inundated at the hospital when the weather is like this. Hey, I go for a sleigh ride with Sven if he decides to come back. Oh, yeah. Just what are the odds of that? Yeah, will you? Sven comes back. You people can fight it out amongst yourselves. Uh, in the meantime, Junior! Hit it! <laughs> yeah! Party down! Party down! <laughs> Sweetie, uh, are, you, are you catching this business with Liza and Adam? It's kind of hard to miss. I got the feeling he was willing to tackle anybody got between Liza and that bouquet. I hope this is not what it looks like. Well, if we're any indication, stranger things have happened. You should be absolutely brain dead to go back to Adam. Stark raving squirrely. Uh -oh. I know trouble when I see it. Hi. 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 We uh, have some good news. More good news. <laughs> Gonna share with the rest of the class? Absolutely, because it directly involves Junior. There is nothing for me but to love. Eliza has consented to become my wife. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I mean, you guys are getting remarried, and, and then we're, we're getting remarried. All's right with the world. With each word. So what's the status on the incoming? Oh, boy. All right. We'll get there as soon as we possibly can. Let me guess. It's uh, you and Sven and the slave, right? uh, And you and Dr. Peters, if we can fit him in. ER's already overwhelmed. Isn't that wonderful? My first night back, and I've pulled duty, all night duty, at the hospital, right? Well, sweetheart, it's not something I would choose. If you'll excuse me. You don't seem overjoyed to hear my news. You noticed that, did you? Come on, can't you just pretend to be happy about my engagement? Liza, you're an intelligent woman. How can you let yourself be taken in by Adam again? He loves me. He doesn't love anyone, ever. He just destroys people. He understands, don't you? Well, he's got you hooked? Absolutely. But you hope it'll be better this time around? Yeah, I understand. But personally, honey, I think you're heading over the same old cliff. Oh, Liza! There you are! Tell me. Tell you what? What's going on? What? Between you and my dad. <laughs> the whole bouquet thing. What was that all about, Spill? All right, all right. I hope you're a really good cook. Well, you know, in a really severely remedial way. Well, because I'm really looking forward to our dinners, you know? A stepdaughter. <laughs> Are you serious? You're yeah. back? It's yeah. official? Oh, welcome no. back. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your support. Best thing that could ever happen to my father. Oh, you are the best. Mm. Let's go talk weddings. Okay, come on. <laughs> I don't get this. Liza knows Adam. Certainly does. She's got the tread marks to prove it. How could she willingly walk into the line of fire again? And with a child? I mean, it's one thing to risk yourself, but an innocent baby? You know what they say love is blind. I don't know. As Junior would say, it creeps me out. Well, maybe he won't be obs so obsessed this time since the child isn't his. 
Are you kidding? He's gonna have her pregnant again in like six minutes. Well, they're not married yet. Maybe you could talk about it? Oh, wait, no, don't look at me. It's not like I haven't tried to warn her. She's like a bungee jumper, insists on going over the rail one more time, even if it isn't a full body cast. You know what I'd really like? Yeah, what? You and me, alone someplace. There's nothing else to think about. Ooh, the honeymoon we never had, huh? So you think this trial is gonna last very long? Don't quote me, but I think it might be over lickety split. Sounds like you think Ryan has a chance. Hey, I get this DNA thing dropped. The case might be dismissed. Is that thing battery operated too? Sure, it's a laptop. Phone lines are still up, aren't they? Yeah, we can watch TV, listen to music, play some games, study. Or not. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Timmy, can you check the weather, see what's the condition of the blizzard? No problem. No! What's rape mean? Honey, we'll talk about it later. Um, Tim, you want to take the guys out and get oh, them some more cake? Sure. Wedding Come cake? On, guys. There must see if there's any left. left. You look like you need some. Come on, guys. Now, I knew this was going to happen. I just didn't expect it so soon. Kit, I'm very sorry. I, I'm very surprised because the editor is a friend of mine. I'm sure that your friend had nothing to do with it. Tad. Tad? Tad would yeah, never do listen, something. Listen, if I'm not back in five minutes, I'm going to be wringing his neck. Are you telling me that you didn't plant this story? I would never try a case in print, Jack. Well, there's always a I first time. Now he's thinking that I did. You're talking oh. to the wrong man, Jack. Yeah, Jack, Tad's the one with the axe to grind. Come on, Tad. I know you're bitter, but this is vindictive. Would you be serious? You really think I want my name all over the front page? You sent that creep to bribe me into dropping the charges. That was low, wait, even for you. Wait, what creep? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I am telling you all I have nothing to do with that story. And I suppose you didn't send that guy to me either. The man what? at the hunting lodge yesterday. That's the one. His name was Braden, right? Braden? Braden works for Palmer Cortland. All right, so why would he stick his nose into this? I have no idea. Dixie told him what happened in California, didn't she? What if she did? It was the truth? That still doesn't explain why he would then approach my sister. Well, maybe Br Braden's a friend of Ryan's and he's just trying to defend him. Wouldn't you if somebody lied about a friend of yours? I'm not lying! Well, you lied when you accused me of rape, Kit. How do we know this is any different? I'm sure you would if you could, and I do appreciate you trying. Thanks a lot. Well, I'm afraid I couldn't stop it. That story has hit the wire services. That Braden works fast. Well, the story reported is true. Dimitri, why don't you go get yourself a glass of champagne? All right, Jack, can I get you a glass, too? No, but you know what you could do Let's for me? You could stay there to drink it for you. All right, just, just calm down. Jack, you know, Dimitri might have a point. This story's gonna come out in court if it ever gets to Oh, we'll get to court, Trevor. Don't you worry about that. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Wait, wait, what does he mean? Our Mr. Dillon here has filed a motion to suppress the DNA results. He can do that? It's already been done. Oh, he can do anything he wants, but I'll be fighting it every step of the way. If you lose this case, you're gonna be dragging yourself and a lot of other people through the muck. So maybe you want to think about saving the people of the state some money and yourself a lot of grief and drop the charges? Christy, this is just the beginning. I can't gag the press. There's no way I can protect you from a thing like this. I'm not asking you to do that. Yeah, well, there's more than your own personal interest here. This kind of stuff can taint the jury pool. There's no way you're going to get people that aren't biased against you. That's why it was done, right? Oh, yeah, that's exactly why it was done. And it's going to get worse, and it's going to get rougher. Look, if you want to walk away from this, drop the charges. Believe me, honey, I will understand. I know that it's going to get worse. I mean, for everyone. But this is the second time in my life that I'm telling the truth. It worked out okay the first time. So I'm just going to have faith. I'm pressing charges.